Here's a little preview of Dronio 1.2 to be released soon, I hope. Uh, first of all, we have a bunch of new, newish uh, timbres and features. This is the old evolving mirror, mm. but uh, more interestingly, uh, this is the new preset that I have called Potpourri. It has a bunch of these these six new timbres in them that show you some interesting features. For example, this one chirps. It's set to a really, really low frequency, as you can see, and it's using uh, an evolving mirror on top of an insect, insect number four, which is a really high pitch point. Here, um, this is a square wave built out of sine waves, so you can go and uh, adjust, oops, adjust it a little bit, and uh, have, uh, there are actually two of them, so you can go back and forth churning between two different timbres that sound something like square waves. It makes for a kind of a chewy situation. It's very precise. Very hard to do by hand. Um, here, something in 31 equal temperament, just to show you what that looks like. It's not a whole lot of them. Some people like it because we can approximate some just intervals. Why bother? Uh, and over here is the brain. This is also a little stretched out, not quite so. It's putting out a 10 hertz beat tone here. Um, difference tone is 10 hertz. As you can see, there's a few other things. Um, but if you set it up to be nice and blank, there's a new feature here where you can import from a clipboard. That's right. It uh, can export and import a legible version of this patch, editable, uh, for your cutting and pasting needs. So you can go and paste it if you like, over into a blog or whatever. I've added a few more timbres, these analog ones for those who like the old classic really noisy analog sound and like to post-process Dronio through other effects. You know, I only put in a chorus because it's very good to walk around with, but I'm sure you have many more effects sitting in your big effects stack. So, um, as you see, we have triangles, we have squares, and uh, well, it's, uh, it's pretty nice sounding. But uh, you can even do this interesting trick, do this cut and paste. You can set up um, URLs that will launch Dronio and tell it to load a particular patch, which you've taken off that website. So you can export it and build your own little libraries and uh, post them on the web, find them, tell your pals about them, make them as big as you like. I don't want to host them. I'll host some of my own, of course, or things that you've sent to me. But uh, basically, you can set up your own networking and Dronio networking. So that's about it for now. There are a few more things in 1.2. Watch for it soon. Thank you.